going to make me look sweating. so pale. Take and your socks off. No, but I can't. Shh, shh. Ow, my fucking tits. <laughs> you just flashbang me, bro. Good afternoon, morning, evening, or tomorrow, everybody. Welcome to the world of tomorrow. I'm a snake oil salesman from 1901. Yeah. Joined by Landon Ricketts. Damn. Uh, I don't know any others. Billy the Kid. Billy the Kid, thank you. And... Renton. Uh, the one who saved Tombstone. There's a movie about him. Stay safe out there, home dogs. Randy. Famously saved Tombstone, the town of Tombstone. There's a film about him as well, I think. Okay. Yeah. Well, I've just got back from school. And I've bought... <laughs> I've got... Is it show and tell at home? Yes, it is show and tell at home. I've got so much to show, but I can't. So I have indeed brought a topic to this episode. Wait, before we get into that, um, let's Bro. just uh, shout out the patrons over at Patreon. Oh yeah. Dot com. Thank you guys as always for helping keeping it real, keeping it alive. This three hundred and sixty degree can is pretty wacky. That's what it says. Introducing the three hundred and sixty degree can. It's a can, but I the whole circle gimmick. is gone. I could dip my gimmick dick in that. For fucking you know, you have a look children. at and if at you're a it, coke can hole, and you're like, couldn't I could only put my finger in there? This you could put, you could put your whole dick in that. You could your dick could yeah. wear this on the end of it. So, I think you know, John Media doesn't approach drama, but I think John Media it's needs to take a stance on this now. What, Ruben? Why are you wearing shoes inside the house? Uh, I like to wear shoes inside the house. Um, yeah, me too. I'm wearing shoes. Jamie's wearing shoes inside the house. When I get Who? home, it's, I take my shoes off when I'm at home in my relaxing zen zone. And if I'm if so I'm in a house with a shoes well, off policy, my shoes come off. But this house, this isn't a shoes off policy Alex, house. you need to what? implement, Randy, you need to implement a shoes off policy in your house. Why would I want to take these off? Look at them. I'm flexing on everybody with my expensive because shoes. Because... This is the house. It's carpet. You shouldn't be walking your shoes all there over the carpet. There are dogs walking around in this house spreading fecal matter if they little paws. That is a point. I guarantee you Randy's feet are way dirtier than any of our shoes. I've been saying this for years. Don't wear shoes, don't wear socks. For anyone that's not it's watching... one of them government things. Randy's bullshit. here. He looks almost identical to Alex. Well, well they're identical well, to I should probably explain. Well, uh, no, but I mean, in the <coughs> way he chooses to dress and things like that. Oh, right. Well, yeah. no, I'm looking after his house, looking after the dogs or whatever. Uh, they are dogs, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. I hope I'm feeding them enough. One of them looks really skinny. Dog abuse, maybe? Nah. That's Speaking of dog moment, abuse... Quite um, two incidents of... You, YouTube slash Twitch females. There was one a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I thought that threw a cat on the floor. No, that's a, oh, it was a cat, yeah. Yeah, a cat. So we're talking um, about bitches then, right? Bitches get snitches. Yeah, the snitch stitches. I think this episode is better of the visual prompt. For any of you, I think you should just check, see Randy, and then go back to the Well, yeah, because Alex is away at the moment. You've got Randy. So I'm here with my bro. I don't see him very often. Mm. <laughs> um, let's stay on topic anyway. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> um, I don't see him very often. <laughs> was, that, was that the prompt? I well, don't know. Randy's come a long way down to... Staying on topic, animal abuse. That's our first A nice topic. funny one to start us yeah, off. Yeah, I love yeah. starting on subjects yeah. like this. <laughs> Should we just grab um, the dogs and just fucking use them as punching bags? Let's what? just go in. <laughs> let's be real. So one crown. So let's go for the first one that happened actually a little while ago now. The, the cat one. She, she threw it over her head. Yeah. Wait, reel this back. What are you talking about? Uh, animal abuse. But who threw a cat? The Twitch I don't know, some girl. Twitch streamer. Say her name. I, Alina, Alina, no, let's not give her the, um, oh, the publicity, one. the, um, yeah, the um, platform to gain more um, more publicity from um, our this. platform. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you really get passionate. I haven't seen you this He's passionate He's standing on his platform right now. So, yeah, this is my platform. Basically, this dumb cunt. That's Ruben, have you, ever thrown a cat? have you ever thrown a cat over your head? No. I have Randy? I have played around with my cats, so, um, you know, throwing them, around, you know, not throwing them, but like lifting them up and stuff, because that's yeah, what yeah. cats do. It's funny, know? yeah, and they they just be like come back. I like more. picking Billy up and going like this. <laughs> spin time. That's spin time. Yeah, game. yeah. Do you want my honest answer or do you want my uh, okay safe for work answer? Honest answer. Honest answer, Randy. Um, is this in? Is, is, this is shooting cats with a paintball gun count as animal abuse? Yeah. No. 
I don't do that then. Next. Um, I mean, that cat will be fine, though. Yeah, <laughs> the cat. Yeah, the cat will be fine. Be fine. My, it's still Billy, not very nice you, that she did that. No, but do you know what Billy has jumped off of? All sorts of shit. All sorts of really, really high yeah. things. Yeah. yeah, the cat will be absolutely fine. Yeah. The thing is... It doesn't make it okay. No, it doesn't make it okay, gone. and people should be like, man, don't do that. Because it does show a very nonchalant lack of care for one yeah. beast that they have tamed. But like, let me and my dog here. Just let them know that they've done it wrong. Cancelling this person? Nah, that's a bit much. Cancel culture? I think cancel culture is fucking horrible. We should cancel cancel culture. Yeah, yeah. that's what pissed me off. This is my new talk charity. Talk about the next one, because then I have a point. Yeah, same. So um, the next so the one is Brooke Hoot. Brooke Hoot. Some Do YouTuber. not give them no a one. platform to stand on. No one fucking knew who this person was. She's no got, one knew. She's got for, like 300,000 subscribers, 10,000 followers, fucking nothing. Less than that. Well, if anything, it's going to make her famous. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. Yeah, it probably will. But she, what she did is a different level to what the cat James incident. become a robot again. Yeah, he's doing his no, robot voice. No, no, no. Yeah. It's, it, it's a completely different level of abuse. The first, it's very light, like, you shouldn't have done that. This one, though, she very... You can clearly see it. She fucking hits her dog because, and like, pushes like, it. See, the thing with the cat is the cat comes to her and then she responds by just lifting the cat over her head mid in the heat of battle. I'm like, well, it's not cool, but okay. I g We've all made gamer mistakes, I'm afraid. <laughs> with the dog, she, like, <laughs> seeks out because the dog comes to her and then, it go and then she seeks out to keep on at the dog. It also flinches as she raises yeah. her hand towards it, <laughs> which mm -hmm. means it's been a recurring thing. Mm -hmm. She is... An animal abuser, and the dog should be taken away from her, because she used it. She used the fact that it's a Doberman, and it's quite like a big dog as a as a way to like excuse her actions. Doesn't fucking care what dog it is. You shouldn't be doing that to your dog. See, I uh, I don't know if she is an animal abuser. Yeah, I think that's kind of unfair. Yeah, the weird, the really the wide thing to just assume. Yeah, about the the weird thing to me is that she spat on it. Yeah, that was weird. Like, that, yeah, I didn't see that in the video. I don't, you can't see it in the video. It's, it's an you can hear it. It's fucking weird, though. Like, that's that's like pure anger fight yeah. mode, heat at the moment. And that, yeah, that's she the. She was clearly very angry about it. Yeah, yeah. or about something yeah. else. And Which just, is what she tried to say was the. Deal. Yeah. She but, shouldn't um, let her frustration. But the thing out is, everyone sees one person on a video do something wrong, or one person who has d does videos do something wrong. I I've never done anything wrong in my life, but you have. You've done That's that one thing. thing wrong right now. I've never done wrong yeah. things ever. Yeah. No, but the, th like <sighs> the thing about the video from memory, I only watched it once a couple of days ago. But um, she like pushes the dog down, tells it off, but then it goes. It keeps going like back to her, back for more. If she was truly an abuser and this was regularly happening. I don't think that dog would yeah. continue yeah. going near her and stuff. And it was a big, it was a big dog. Yeah. yeah. A fucking huge dog. Big chunky one. I don't think calling her an animal abuser is wrong. I think she just took it too far. And I mean, yeah. everybody has made mistakes. The thing is how I look at it, I immediately forget about it. When I see stuff like that, I'm just like, don't care. Okay. Because mm. most of it's just bullshit. The responses are so overblown. She, yeah. She clearly... Call the fucking police. Yeah. No, like, the, okay, 15-year-old of an anime profile like, picture. Yeah. Let's call the police. When you see, like... A video of some teenager like launching a kitten into the sky, or yeah. booting a dog, or, or pour, booting that a cat. guy who poured the scalding water into the cat. Yeah, he takes pleasure in yeah, harming these animals. Yeah, that shit is like way, way far that, compared seen... to someone dropping a cat over their head or. Thing is, as well though, taking it too far and telling their dog off. I think people are kind of desperate. Okay, it's controversial to shit on like. YouTube women and Twitch women mm. at the moment very much like, you're a woman I mean, fuck off yeah I mean yeah yeah I think there's like an over critical nature that people seem to have to, especially towards women now. Twitch women especially like and I, I guess I can I can understand some of why they might want to hate this, this you know people might want to hate on the Twitch women because it's like Twitch does seem to unfairly let them off for things um, you can drop an M-bomb if you're a Twitch thought I think is like one of the things oh, what the N-word you can I've, yeah for real I mean, so yeah, supposedly, wow, I mean, I, I don't know because I don't really care because I don't engage in it because I just don't care. Right. Go no. back to Perma Octopath Traveler. This is my point. Have a great time. Okay, Randy. I reckon the majority of dog owners are abusers in some way. Hear me out. Don't jump on me. Hear me out. See how many fucking obese dogs you see on the streets. That's a form of abuse, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. All these fucking awfully trained dogs that are violent, that are terrible, that are aggressive. 
in a weird way, that sort of abuse as well. So why are you yeah. bringing it down just on this one lady? Oh yeah, next like, So many dog owners, just dog owners in general, for the most part, are shit at it. I will, I will admit, I'm going to straight up say that the behaviour she showed is normal for dog owners. I swear there's a lot more people who do that on a regular basis. I've never done that to Gaius. That's the thing, it's it. like, it, she, she accidentally uploaded it, right? Yep. Wasn't that the thing? Yeah, it was an yeah, yeah. edited video. She didn't she accidentally uploaded. Think about all the shit that would be out there for all of us if every thing we didn't want to see that would make us look bad was out there. Everyone could have fucking hundreds of these moments. But that's the thing, and once everyone had it, no one would. But yeah. That's a good point, actually. I just think syndrome wins again. No, it stems <laughs> back to this fact that logic. humans, they got it too fucking easy. We, we care about the most dumb shit now because we don't have to worry about staying alive. We can just go to the fucking supermarket. We don't have to worry we can about buy some BG's fucking food. Hit single. It's not in the charts anymore. We don't have to it spend the whole day you. fucking, you know, <laughs> eating bugs and shit, finding just some sustenance to stay alive. We're not like something. outlaws in the old west going hunting. It's exactly. Yeah. They, well, yeah. Where their main focus is, where's my next whorehouse, or something like that. You know. So now it's like, right, I got my fucking twenty-eight burgers oh, from McDonald's. Randy's gone. Did another voice, got distracted, and went back to not Randy. <laughs> what are you talking about, dog? <laughs> got a hundred McDonald's in front of me. Dog. <laughs> and what have I got to do? Nothing. Nothing. I'm, Wait, I'm how bored. Does this, how does this relate? Okay. No, listen, it's bringing it back round. <laughs> no, it's not. I pull out my phone, I'm like, I'm fucking bored. Oh, I kind of like dogs. A dog. bit. And I'm, this, this is like dramatic. The likes That's dogs. it. Tweets coming out. Tweets coming out. I'd say... <laughs> Tweets firing up my little fingers right now. What she did is what a lot of dog owners do. A lot of people do it. People would snap. It's, good. it's, it's frustration. I mean, and people need to learn to not let their frustrations out of their dog. And no point instead, with Gaius. I've never done that because <laughs> I've learned the wall not or to. Something. Break your hand. Fuck it. Also, just learn how to correct to your dog. Yeah. Not smack it. Go well, you like, just tap it. Make a noise. Just yeah. shock it a bit. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe strangle it a bit, you know, pick it up by its neck, shake it, <laughs> hold it up by its tail, stuff like that. That's Positive fair. reinforcement, not negative reinforcement. Don't do what that fucking shitty, cunty dog whisperer says. He he thinks the best way to do dog is negative reinforcement, which is literally like, smack your dog if it does something wrong. Well, that's, that's not true. That is not true. Did you true. just say that about the dog whisperer? The one Caesar in America, Milan. I believe. Caesar Milan? Uh, can't remember. The dog whisperer sees him alive. Yeah, no, that's horse shit. What you just said. If I keep on saying it, he might, he might appear. No, you can summon him. I've heard. You've got to go to a mirror for that. <laughs> no, the number one rule is to treat a dog like a dog and not like a tiny human. Yes, mm-hmm. that's the number one rule. So so how how do dogs shit. correct each other? They they snap at each other. They fight. So you replicate that with doing what the dog whisperer does. Take mm-hmm. a couple fingers, and it works like a charm. Or you just fight them. No, nope, that's how I you was get around a puppy. Stuff. I was around nah. a puppy a few weeks ago, and I kept having to do that to it because he just wouldn't listen. Yeah, because puppies are cheeky. They are they, cheeky. They don't know their place yet. And I keep kept on to go like, Tss. and it just gets exhausting to a point where it's, you get uh, uh, yeah. it, it's such until a pain you just in the pick ass. it up and launch it across the room. You just kill it, get a new one, hope that the next one's mm-hmm. nicer. That's not punch true. it in the eye. Someone like do that to a puppy, yeah. of course, a puppy. or even a dog, or any animal really. I mean, a snails. Well, I've accidentally stepped on snails. What about snails. those big snails? Nah, the fuck them. African em. giant... The Madagascar African, snails. Madagascan. Snails think they're so much better than slugs because they got fucking clothes on. Cause, yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Slugs are Yeah, hard. but that's... They're terrible. Wow, you guys starting to sound real real racist. Sl- uh, slug molluskisk, actually. Get it right. This is quite good. Hmm. Shout out to Hazy Days. Uh, the London, London beer, beer Factory. Session IPA. Or IPA. Don't buy it in London, though. It'll probably be £6.50. Yeah, for one, one can. can. And I don't think there is a London Beer Factory. Like, if you search that, you, there might be lots of them, and I, I wouldn't want you to get confused. James? Next cast, I'm not sitting here, because um, I always look ridiculously huge, because I'm in the foreground, and <laughs> I am bigger anyway. So... I just look ridiculous sitting here, right here every time. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like the next Hobbit. Randy should sit here. If oh, he comes I'm, back. I'm gone next week, so. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Yeah. I guess his twin, twin, twin brother can sit here. <laughs> He's good. <laughs> can Appar- we talk? Can we talk Appar- about Apparently, Alex for a the dog whisper hung a husky up, like noose, and it's had like long-term trauma because of it. And he went. It was a court case. 
Okay. What? So can we talk what? about we're gonna talk about Alex yeah. for a minute. Now we've outed Caesar Milan, cancelled Caesar Milan. We did what we <laughs> said we weren't gonna do. Yeah. Anyway, what about Alex? Sorry. We need to talk about Alex for a minute. How I, I don't know how else to put it, but he's he's gay. <laughs> I've always been scared that my twin bro was gay. And Okay. That's not very nice. Why are you afraid and? of it? So you're attacking my beliefs then? Oh, having a challenge in cast today, boys. I thought someone, debate me then. I thought someone better Prove challenge wrong. Alex's parody character today, just in case we were all cancelled for being like joking about homosexuality and coming out and family members not approving of it. So I thought I should challenge Alex's parody opinion, so that we don't. What's his parody opinion? That's what I actually believe. <laughs> Anyone what do you believe? What do you Lay believe? your beliefs what out. What do you believe in? <laughs> right. <clears throat> now, now say, I believe, and then... I believe in fascist government. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. want to be oppressed. And that's pretty much it. You what were just saying how shoes are, are a, a government construct, and now you're saying you believe in it, <laughs> <laughs> In a, don't fucking do that, you fucking inbred piece of I, shit. I accidentally said a government constructed device as opposed to a, a social construction. That's well, the I government mean. doesn't necessarily construct society. That's what I'm saying, that's why it's different. Yeah, it's different. Anyway, I study yeah. one of the ologies. I've studied a, one of the ologies. Cosmopolitology. Sociology. Oh. Is it for me? Yep. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> Someone's on the phone to my bro. Um. So, I thought we hadn't we hadn't. Ooh. Um. You think another time will be? Better? We haven't done one of our. What have we been listening to, watching, mm. playing things for a little while? I thought about that because I've been listening to and playing some things specifically, and I have oh, watched nice. some things. I've done all three in the last week or two, so I am I'm ready to go. I want to know what I've watched. You already know because I would have put it in the group chat. I watched every Twilight film in the span <laughs> of three days. I started one of them before I went on holiday. Then when I got back, I finished the first one and then watched all the others like straight after it over the course of a few nights. And uh, it was a fucking exhausting excuse me, experience. Yeah, I bet. Those films are so bad. The first one is the best one. Because really? you can tell that. That's the best one. Yeah. Oh, that's the only one I've seen. And it <laughs> Even though there's trash. some like cringe cliche shit it's only a one and a half star out of five okay that's what i gave it and a lot of that i was sort of based on the fact that i just like robert pattinson like in retrospect you know of course i had not i'd watched him in good films before i'd watched him in twilight but still right. in yeah. retrospect for his yeah. career um and you can tell that the, the director who they fired after that uh, <laughs> it was a female director uh, yeah, she remember. kind of cared about it you can tell she was trying to do this a little bit trying to make it a bit stylized a bit because it was a bit indie movie and they, they were trying yeah. their best with it but it it is and it isn't indie movie it's very strange like a high budget indie project i like the way they run it does that looks <laughs> lame and terrible um but in that one they hadn't expanded on anything so it hadn't gotten ridiculous yet it was still just like vampires world it was very basic and then as it goes on everyone's a superhero everyone's an anime character on everyone Babies is start an getting character. imprinted Babies start getting imprinted on by Taylor Lautner. That's a terrifying Stretch experience. Armstrong. Yep. Um, so, I just, I just, they were they were fucking exhausting, but no one else has seen them. But I would recommend it because I've seen them. They are they are very funny because dialogue is appalling, but it's also very wearing sometimes. If you watch them all like I did, you are just totally exhausted because you're just angry at it. Right. Because yeah. everyone in it's a cunt. Every character sucks. And it's embarrassing. That was all. I've watched some movies recently. Yeah. Quite a few, actually. Hopefully better than what I watched. Definitely better than what you watched. <coughs> You'd have to go a long way to find <laughs> yeah. movies that are worse. Um, I watched <coughs> both Kill Bills. Yeah. Oh, really? I haven't watched those in ages. How were what? they? Fucking awesome. Which one's I've better, in your opinion? Or can you not do that? <sighs> it's really difficult. Some people consider them one movie. Yeah. They are very... Like, the credits of the second one, like, 
credits people from the first movie that aren't even in the second movie. Mm. It's very bizarre. But, goddamn. I actually gave them both five stars on Letterboxd. I've not watched them in a long time, so... When I was it, just, yeah. like, blown away. There's there, there ain't nothing like a good Quentin Tarantino movie. He's so, got his own... He's got such a style. And there's nothing that I'd really change about well, what, it. Do you want to enroll what, on my course this time? Do you want to you wanna start <laughs> on film? I, what bad movie... I don't what, own a Pulp Fiction poster, so I don't think I'll be let in. Yeah. What bad Quentin Tarantino movies that's are true. there? There's, like, one. Death Proof. Yeah, that's it. Mm. So it's like just Quentin Tarantino movies. And you should just, like that one. I would like that one. I, the thi- it's the most interesting Quentin Tarantino movie. The thing is, it is like a normie alert to say he's really good. But he is good. But the, the it's I'm not afraid. Like, why does everyone think this? Because he's really good. We're not allowed to admit that we like anything. No, but no. because it's that thing where um, ooh, like, I'm an individual because I think good things are shit. It's the Rick and Morty like, effect. Yeah. Like Rick and Morty's good. Yeah. But now everyone thinks it's cringe because of the reaction to it. Yeah. This 360 degree can is actually great. I don't have to think about, like, which side of the can I'm doing. So I'm with this. This is good. It's a million buck idea right there. Yeah. There's two more movies I want to mention. Okay, go on. Go on then. Um, I watched American Psycho for the first time. Oh, no, I saw that. Someone, yeah. I saw someone had rated it. It didn't say you had. It just said popular with friends. So I checked. There was like, someone's rated this. Oh, right. Know, but someone I has. thought it was very good. You don't think it's as good as I think, because I give it a five. I'm yeah. the only person I know that thinks it's a five-star film. I, do just, uh, I love Christian Bale. Like, that's basically it. Star power. What is up with his voice in that movie, though? He's... I, I had an impression of him for a while in that movie, but I can't do it anymore. I'd have to come back with it next cast. I don't if know. You were, if you asked me to practice, I could do it. I don't know if it's, like, intentional, but it, it... It feels like one of those accents that's like, oh, that's an English person doing an American accent. It's but then again, everyone in the movie talks like that. Well, he, he's doing the smarmy upper class yeah, New Yorker. Uh, they're yeah. all like bland people yeah. that are the same. And the, the, and it's a bit of like a point. mad men thing to it, where they're like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, about everything. But much more like, what is da- Dorcia? Well, What's the name of the fucking restaurant they all want to go to? Um, Dolce at the Coromest, I think. Yeah, fuck it. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really good. Something about it, I think, on an emotional level, it didn't do anything, and I—I uh, I mean, it, I don't think it's m- really meant to. No, I think maybe that's like another. It's, m- it's more like a, he is Yeah, as well. it's like a commentary. That's why I, I kind of enjoy that because it's. Yeah, I know it's not but the most for me in like, depth commentary. You could probably say it's quite surface level, but I still enjoy how fucking stylish they make it the whole way. Yeah, no, it is a very good yeah. film. But I also watched Snatch for the first time. That's really good oh. as well. Which I also rated a four star, which I gave. Uh, American Psycho. Snatch is awesome. Yeah. Very That's fun. Jason Jason Statham's in it, isn't he? Yeah. Really? Yeah. He's really good in it. Yeah. He's 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 it's a totally different Jason Statham. Well, yeah, uh, I he's was expecting him just to like, like be in a bunch of fights. No, he's just like I fucking hate everything. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's his my, character. My only trouble with the movie is actually that. And that like there's there's like four characters in the movie whose personalities are just interchangeable. Mm. Where they're just that they just like make fun of other people. Funny London gangster. Yeah. Type. Yeah. Yeah. It's and there's two in particular. Um, I don't remember their names. They're like no, I wouldn't. the two black guys. That oh, are they really? F- are they really fat or something? No, one of the, one of them's really fat. He's yeah. he's got a good personality because it's completely different. But um, mm. the the like two main black dudes. I don't remember anymore. Their personality is basically identical. Fun they just, fact about it. You know. Obviously, I think everyone knows the one about Brad Pitt. He was like, yeah, he can't, he couldn't do the accent, mm-hmm. so they just wrote his dialogue to be unintelligible. They mm-hmm. just said, just, just do this, because yeah, <laughs> fuck it. Yeah, I remember <laughs> hearing that before yeah. I even watched the movie, and it makes movie, it funnier to watch. I think, yeah, once you and in in the plot, like nobody knows what they're saying anyway, mm-hmm. and that's the point. I think if you've liked Snatch, you should watch uh, Lock, Stock, Stock, Two Stock. Yeah, I See, would, I, but it's not on Netflix. I so. went to watch Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, but I didn't enjoy it as much because there was something about it that was um. I'm trying to think. It was very like talented director gets first shot at big film, mm-hmm. but you can tell because like everything, all the cameras are really grainy, and everything's a lot slower, and there's way less, let's say, action in it. Yeah, because right. they couldn't, they just couldn't do it, couldn't yeah. afford to do it. Would have been too hard to shoot. And I was, what, and I struggled to watch it because I was, I just come from the like the excitement of Snatch and was being like told, yeah, okay, now lower expectations a bit. 
I yeah. calmed down. I, I just I couldn't be bothered. I also love that kind of movie that snatches there, where like all these strands mm -hmm. are just out doing their own thing, barely relating to each other, and then they mm -hmm. cross, and it's very cool. Fun what movie. we watched actually, the new Fast and Furious. Oh yeah, of course you went and watched that. Who I'm so glad I didn't. I'm fucking so awful. It's, yeah, it's fucking <laughs> terrible. Because I was actually hoping it might be fun, no. but then no, it just sounded awful. like it was soul sucking, and that was it. The whole I wanted to fall asleep, but it was so fucking boring. I didn't know you'd seen it. We saw it with Alex. Everyone's seen it. Ruben hasn't. I haven't seen it, but no, I don't care. True fans of the franchise. Yeah, I've, I haven't watched. I the, thought you were a Fast and Furious fan. No, you don't understand what is wrong with this one. It doesn't have the family element. Oh God! No, it does. Yes, it does. Family. Jason there wasn't a single barbecue. Spoiler alert: They become brothers by the end. There wasn't a single rooftop barbecue. No Corona. No, no barbecue. What's even the point? Yeah, there was not Corona in that movie. There was movie. no Corona in that movie. Yeah, it fucking ruined it. There was no Rhythm of the Night. What the fuck? I would say, as, not so, so I like that bit. as a Fast and Furious fan, it's fucking terrible. It's That's not, not what you said after it. You said you fucking loved it. I loved it because I'm, I'm, I fucking like Jason Statham. But the thing is, can you remember a car scene? There's fucking one car scene in it, pretty Didn't they much. drive through a building no, like quite a Ferrari a or some bullshit? No, no the, the, the car scenes are awful. You got I saw a in the trailer. There's like a stupid dirt buggy thing. Looks like yeah. something like Forza Horizon. <laughs> Drifts around the edge of like a cliff top, and the effects yeah. were rough. And That's I assumed, like the end. was it just because that was the trailer cut, and they needed the unfinished VFX like footage? It it, I mean, no. the 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 stuff that they do in the movie is clearly so fake that of course dumb. your brain's going to be like, oh, that's that. Didn't None happen. of this Like Mission because Impossible, Tom Cruise yeah, is out exactly. there. <laughs> like, exactly. Like he's gonna die. No, that's the thing. <laughs> Watching like, nah, these car chases, yeah. these car chases in Fast and Furious. It's shit. The, that's like the point of the movie. Um, there is none though. Fucking There's Mission like Impossible did it better. Yeah, because it, it looks real. Fucking awesome. No, it's, it's the best. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so incredible. fucking awesome. The one thing about Fast and Furious, you can tell the quality between the, the fight scenes between The Rock and Jason Statham. There's a fucking massive difference. Yeah, because The Rock sucks. They have like a contract as well that they can't be hit a certain amount of times before they then get a hit yeah. back because everyone has to like a hero. Well, The Rock would be like one hit and then he's got to hit back mm -hmm. because he he never. Jason seems like a martial arts expert. Yeah, he yeah he's does. actually a really yeah. talented yeah. Um, stuntman. Yeah. yeah, he actually does. Stuff. He actually has like a natural charisma on the camera as well. Yeah, instead of just being a stuntman. So, shout out to Jason Statham for being the best thing about those movies yeah. consistently. And, and Jason Statham has been in good movies. Yes, yeah. yeah. I was actually, what, I was actually, actually looking movie. through. He's been in two two of all the movies he's rated, like on IMDb, as he's going by. The the two highest are both Fast and Furious. The other two, fuck's sake, Lock, Stock, and Snatch. The West, all of his other movies are like six star. Yeah. Well, there was Transporter. Transporter's quite entertaining. He's in it. What have we been playing? Quick, we got less than two minutes. Randy? Uh, Candy Crush? James? Right. James, what have you been playing? Fire Emblem. I've got, I can say so much about Fire Emblem. I'm fucking... Well, are we going to just good? carry this on into the next segment? Fire Emblem's think? fucking incredible. I love it. Do you have Do any it. idea what the Reddit questions were looking like? Okay. Nope. So I guess we'll just have to continue. So if you want to talk about Fire Emblem for a little while. Go ahead, James. Talk about something that you're passionate about. But not too long. Fire Emblem. Not sequel. Oolong T. Sequel, not sequel. Just a new game to the franchise. Coming to the Switch. Massively updated. Super Japanese. Really fucking fun. And there's loads of... There's free houses you can pick. And that's a lot of story content. It's a lot of vari variables. I'm 25 hours in. Not even got to the second part. So I've got loads of time left. So, great game. And I recommend it. Nice. Well, I've been playing... Octopath Traveler and Red Dead Redemption 2 I've got a newfound respect for that game I used to be very god damn God of War is of the game of the year by a landslide but now I'm like not by a landslide but God of War is still <laughs> was still the game of the year uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 in your opinion in my opinion but I mean it was game of the year though at the, at the one of those fucking arbitrary at the VGAs yeah that Jeff Cooley can suck John Media's dick well it's something about Red Dead Redemption 2. As great as it is, you, too many you. things for two little buttons on a controller. That's the trouble with it. There's so much detail. Need to uh, release it on PC. And yeah. it wants you to have so much... That's the problem with so many games on console. Yeah. Buy the ultimate super I, Xbox controller I, I to give fix you this. One example today, I was doing a mission where you've got to go and... 
You gotta go and save somebody, and you go into a room <laughs> and 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 you hold LT to to get to aim at people, and it, it auto locks to the character you're trying to save instead of the enemy that's looking at you. And I was just like, what the f- what the fuck is this? We'll this be is back stupid. after these messages. This is fucking stupid. We'll be- <laughs> oh. Guess what we got in store for you today, lads? Join me in your t-shirts. Oh. Check the description below. Oh. So basically, um... Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 is a good game, but God of War is still better. Uh, but Octopath Traveler is an awesome game. And worse than both of them. I don't even know if it's fair to like compare those two, those three games as the trouble. Um, Octopath does one thing really well. Combat? Yeah. Really satisfying combat. Yeah. And like... Nah. But gameplay. Gameplay. Just generally. Yeah, but you story, story no, atrocious, voice acting atrocious. But the visuals, visuals are good. Yeah, there you go. So two things well. Yeah, and music, and music. Three the music things. is the very music's good. Music's amazing. Actually. Yeah, really amazing. Sounds even better on Spotify because I guess it's like uncompressed. Yeah, or less compressed. Sorry. Um, what you're saying is it's shit because Donkey said it's shit. So I'm not listening to you. No, I give Octopath like a strong eight out of ten. Yeah, it's, not, it's not a ten. I don't want to play it. Yeah, I'd give it like a seven point five eight. <laughs> I'm really sorry for that. Fucking hell. I, mean, I, mean, it's just, I think it's probably because it's like my first game like that on. I'm just. I don't know. It's great for portable stuff. Yeah, that's the thing. I, that's probably why I'm enjoying it so much. Because, yeah. wow, I'm playing this on my fucking Switch. Well, this on is the great. subject of Switch, I've realized I can't play that game at, at that console mobile. I can't. I have to dock it. To give you headaches. Play it. No, because my eye. All right. It fucking just goes nuts. I can't play it. I've got to dock it. That's, that's like that's Randy when he takes off his glasses. No, don't, don't. <laughs> that was a close one. He nearly fucking his eyes nearly if went the wind around. Wind changed. I'd be fucked. Away, yeah. <laughs> but Octopath. I want to just say something about JRPG progression. What I've experienced anyway with with proper JRPG progression compared to other RPGs. Uh, they don't like hinder it. There's no scaled difficulty. It's just sort of like, yeah, you are this powerful now. You kill these things in, in instantly. So except Final Fantasy Thirteen. Final Fantasy Thirteen. That, uh, that no, but the thing with Final Fantasy shit. Thirteen was that the way the game. Well, no, actually, I st- I steamrolled most things in that game because you meant to do like the quests around here. But that game was not even open world as a thing. So shit. It gave you like just enough enemies to be h- just a high enough level to beat. Can everything we not talk about Final area. Fantasy Thirteen? But I just wanted to. One. I just wanted to. Say, yeah, that was it. It's that the greatest Final point. Fantasy ever made. Octopath is better than Final Fantasy. Octopath 13. 13. Traveler is better than Final Fantasy Thirteen. Yeah. Ooh yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, What's your favourite game, Randy? Candy Crush, you already said. Probably uh, Gears of War Judgment. <laughs> um, I've been playing Moonlighter for like two days. What's Moonlighter? Fuck you. I know what Moonlighter <laughs> is. Everyone knows what Moonlighter is. It's an indie game made by racists. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a lie. But, um, well, cancel so, culture. So, at, at night, you roam the dark, spooky dungeons and collect the goodies. Scary. The loot. So it's just a dungeon. Give me the loot. No, it's a dungeon crawler, but then you you leave, right? And then during the day, I mean, you can choose to do either of this stuff like whenever you want, but during the day, you can open your shop and sell your goodies. That's why it's Moonlighter. Um, you moonlight as a... Yeah, you're a moonlighter. You moonlight as a dungeon crawler. That's like the see at night you go to. It's so like, yeah. this person doesn't exist because he wouldn't. He would be asleep, surely. No, you can sleep in the game. It doesn't have like a Bethesda game bonus, but like, you can choose to um, not open the shop during the day, and just go and do the dungeons at daytime, or open the shop and then just go to sleep and then open the shop again if you got enough stuff saved up. But, but this what, game... What's, what's the story? But what's... There is a story, but, like... I, I'm just so hooked at the moment. I'm not far into this game at all. But just going into the dungeons, getting my loot, and just making a profit. Because it, it costs, like, 200 coin, or... Depending on, on how far you get through the dungeon, it costs more and more to leave it. Mm-hmm. So it's all about, like, making a profit from getting your goods. It's just capitalism, the game, and it's so fucking addictive. And it's awesome, and it looks so nice, like and a, it feels like a good. Top, a top down, like um. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, it's like what, um. I'm thinking of a game that's like, like Hotline Miami, style? top down, sort no. of perspective. No, like I mean, it, that there's perspective. A, there's a game that <laughs> Crypt of the like Necro Dancer. That's mm. top down. Yeah, I'd say um, it looks 
kind of similar. It looked like that. There's another game. one. There's a more obvious but one, like, but I can't. I, yeah. The upgrades and stuff are fucking cool. There's like loads of different weapons, and you can mm. upgrade all of them. Shit, See, that's so fun. That's what I was doing on Octopath today. I d I beat one of these like secret bosses that gets you a secret like class for yeah. one of the characters, and it was really great because he kicked my ass like three mm. days ago, and then I went back there and. And I fucked him so hard, and it was great. And then I went and tried to do another one, and that one beat me. That one did still beat me. So that was less cool. But there are eight characters and eight stories, and that's I think that's good. I mean, the stories aren't great, and I don't I don't do it any of it for the fact that I didn't care about the fucking stories particularly. I just do it for the fact that yeah. I enjoy I enjoy fighting things. Well, the, the fun thing with Octopath is that you like progress. Mm -hmm. And, and, what, yeah. and yeah, and the gameplay is fun. And what I was thinking to do to make it more challenging, for example, is because let's say you've got four really powerful characters, you can sub one out for a weak one. I was saying, what if I just sub three out and keep one really powerful character to make it more fun? You're, you're mm -hmm. allowed to do that. You can do that. You could still do it that way. You something that. something I wish Octopath didn't have was voice acting, and just had readable stuff. Or, or just the odd line, the odd line. Fans love yeah. it. I don't mind like the in combat lines it's where one of them will be there. like. Flames, yeah, and, and it's always Flames. the same. Every time you use that move, there was one in particular. Flames, how that I was getting really annoyed about was that I'll do my best. <laughs> Just yeah. every time one of the characters yeah. has to do their move, I'll do my best. Okay, yeah, I'll we get it. Get You've been it. doing your best for about seven hundred eighty-six mm. turns. Just <laughs> fuck off, <laughs> okay. And that's another good thing about Moonlighter: no voice acting. Because like that, if or, you don't have voice acting, your dialogue can be as cringy. At least just make as it like Japanese want. or something. So yeah. You know what the fuck it well, is? Well, whenever like j when like Japanese is translated to English, it yeah. always sounds cringy. Look at Breath of the Wild. <laughs> yeah, it's fine when you do. I it don't even Japanese. know if that's necessarily about the dialogue. The voice acting quality is just piss poor in the English uh, translation or dub or whatever. Yeah, but the dialogue is bad. But the, the I think the voice acting is possibly worse. Yeah. Yeah. The voice acting is awful in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Anyway, so let's stop talking about that because that's not accessible to that many people. This is the part of the show um, where, where it we all do all breaks down. It gets real intense. No one makes a sound. Everything looks like it's eight man now. Take it away, Eminem. Dad's ravioli. Scooby Doo, <laughs> monsters <laughs> unleashed. <laughs> this is a part of the show where we answer questions from y'all. Can I just over at the Jar Media Reddit? I just noticed, right? I keep looking at my stuff there that it looks really like my hair is is falling out. It's really bad right there. My hair isn't falling out. I just have an awful hairline. I always have since I was a child. Ever since I was a wee boy, I've had a bad hairline. Airbirds. A wee boy. Rough. Rough life, spelled R U F F. We we have a good mixture rough, of rough. hairlines on this cast. Yeah, mine I've got to say, I've been gifted with mine. I've been fucking. Uh, my hair's just in, <laughs> is something. It's so just. James has quite thick hair, doesn't he? Fucking it? incredibly Very thick, hair. thick brown. James is hairy everywhere. Lush hair. I'm fucking hairy everywhere. James, just take your trousers off for a second. If James had blue eyes, he'd just be Edward Cullen from Twilight, the hit movie, favorite movie. <laughs> Boom. Do you have a hairy bum bum? Um, yeah, is your ass hairy in it if you have diarrhea it's all sticky to the butt? <laughs> There's a bit of hair there, I guess. As as normal. As a film buff, Randy, you looking forward to the lighthouse starring Rob um, Hansen, Don't don't even bother with that pretentious bullshit. And uh the actor's name the Green Goblin. Will <laughs> William Dafoe. Dafoe. There we go. Yeah, no, he's shit. I avoid him. What do you think in? Alex would be looking forward to it there? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. I was surprised when William Dafoe was in John Wick. American Psycho. Aquaman. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was great in that one. Remember that? Oh, he's of course, the he's, the, he's the detective. Yeah, he's, so I stupid. love Willem Dafoe. Yeah, he's amazing. He's great. Anyway, should we do some questions? Do you yeah, want to do the honors, Randy? <sighs> well, I would, but I can't read. Oh. Why do you wear the glasses? So How I can the actually fuck? see. <laughs> How do you even use a phone? No, I just colors press. and symbols. I just <laughs> press until I hear a noise. <laughs> uh, can we? Can Can we just? How are we going to take Randy out? What, are you going to kill me? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, not t not taking well, him out that way. Uh, I mean, we might. We might kill him. I'm making sure he's... Make sure he poison me so I die He's got slowly. some meat on them bones. We could definitely cook him and eat him. Yeah, I fancy a ribeye steak. Give me a, uh... One of them... Sky funerals. Give me one of them. Throw you out of a plane? No. It's where you're cut up and then vultures eat you. <laughs> That's not a sky funeral. Yeah, That's it a fucking it's a Nepali sky funeral. Look out! That's not even a bad How way. Do you even you, know. you start at the top and you go down. 
Yeah, but like, what if I don't want to answer this question? Well, then you just What's the most ridiculous one? thing you've said or done in which you offended someone else? By the Oreo crumbles. Uh, oh, where do we begin? <laughs> um, I've probably offended a few people on this episode. God, uh, no, you haven't. That time I've, I've our friend some... referred to moving as a. Uh, I've done some. <laughs> I've done one a really, really embarrassing one. My friend wasn't offended by it, but I was with him, and he was posting a letter. Or <laughs> yeah, he was posting a letter. Oh, 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 no, it was a check, and he was cashing the check, and the, and the handwriting on it was really wobbly. And I made some joke about, like, who the fuck had written that, or whatever, and, oh, my grandma, she's got MS. <laughs> she's got oh, multiple yeah. sclerosis. Oh, yes. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and, I, and he was just, I was just, oh, and I was like, well, I just said, well, I couldn't possibly have known that. I just assumed it was, bad. you know, that's not where your mind jumps to. It would now, because I've yeah. learned that. He didn't care. It was fine. <laughs> but it was horrible, <laughs> the, uh, in, just in that moment. So, have we been, yeah. the council we've been, boys. But he wasn't offended. I just felt like an idiot for it. Right. Yeah. And I, I've never actually told that story before because I just don't think about it often. I can't think of a time I've like truly offended someone. Me. I mean, like, when have I offended you then? <laughs> All the time. You fucking take, you dismantle my car every time you get into it. That. What that are you talking count. about? You fucking. That's fucking just trying to get shit. all the last of the beer out. Ruben, have I ever offended you? Who have I offended? Me. Uh, How have I offended you? I'm trying hair. to think. Excuse me? I don't know because I don't hold on to shit like that. This yeah. shit's in, on vogue. Yeah, neither do I. <laughs> I just don't like, remember. If I put someone down, they deserved it. I try to trust myself to think they probably <laughs> deserved that putting the down. The thing is, I don't put people down. I don't do it to their face anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I keep that shit for myself. Yeah. What about like inanimate objects? Do they count? No. Uh, oh, okay, no then. Oh. Ah, oh, no, I can't bother with that one. Not even that good. No, I'm sorry, everyone. It's not a good story. Yeah, sorry. It's too, it's too convoluted and I can't oh, bother. I've never done it. Yeah, that's a toughie. Sorry, everyone. Um. Hmm. Okay, I'm looking um, as well. If, I, uh, if the whole cast starred in a slasher horror film, who would play the. Killer whose identity is wrong. Unnamed. Who's you spell it's, it's W H O S. Oh, don't go in on yeah. them. They're probably <laughs> only about five. They're probably not even from England. Skeptic or who's America killed first so. because he mocks everyone for being afraid. Ruben. The love interest James. comes to the rescue but is murdered off screen and found by the main character. And the uh, the final Dibby who battles it out with the killer. Um, like the survivor of the. Right. Why do I have to be the love interest? James is the love interest who dies. Ruben's the skeptic who dies. What are the other two? The killer. Wait, hold up. What? I wouldn't even. I would just be running the fuck out of there in a situation. I just be like, oh, fuck it, I'm going home. Just run, and that'd be that. <laughs> no, that that's why you die then. Yeah. yeah. You're the love interest, and Randy is the main character. Wait, I take the killer down. How'd you do it? How does Randy defeat oh, Randy a slasher? Randy can't take character? the fucking killer down. No, Randy, you're not in it. It's I have brother. an arsenal. No, it's a twin yeah, brother. Alex what would does. he do? What would I do? Let's what? take the killer down. What would your brother do? For fuck's sake. Probably something like really camp and annoying. <laughs> Jesus Christ. My opinion. <laughs> uh... <coughs> <coughs> Should we do an advice? Oh, I, wait. That that previous question was by N Neurosyn. We didn't even finish it, because who the fuck's the killer? You. You. By process of elimination, you would definitely be the one to kill us. Yeah. 100%. Any opportunity I'm getting, you're going down. <laughs> I mean, I was... I, I remember I was at some... Some party. Maybe it was a New Year's Eve thing. I don't remember anymore. It was a couple years ago now. And w we were doing some... One of these fucking drinking games, and the, someone like, who would most who would most likely kill everyone in this room to survive, and the answer came out as me. Everyone's like, "Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah no, he definitely <laughs> killed everyone in this room to survive." Yeah, and I was, just, "Yep, I would kill all of you to survive." Sorry. See, I don't kill people because I don't. I, Neither I'm do I. Nice. But oh, really? To survive. Oh shit! You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd only kill you to survive then. I don't kill anything. I'm pacifist. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you murder a fucking waffle. Um, yeah. I we got a bit of a heavy shit. one coming. Oh, okay. Oh shit. You ready? This is by H H H H H H H H L N H H H. Yep, that's a good name. 
Jar Media, can I ask some advice? No. Yes. Sorry. Okay, next question. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I want to hear it. I live in a small town, and when I was real young, I had loads of friends, and it was all cool. But when I was 12, I moved countries, Ooh. and now I'm back. My problem is that all my friends here are normies. Wah, wah. And my sense of humor and interests are more similar to you guys's. And in my small town, I don't know anyone like me, to be honest. Thanks, Jar Media. Just come to this um, town, then. Problem let, solved. Let me just say... Can we be for real this time, I please? Go to... This, this group... Know, go to university or something. Go, this group go has, somewhere that takes has, you to another place. Has, has a weird sense of humor, Ow. but I still have other friends who are normies. You don't have to constantly have the same group. Yeah, James I mean, is I, very true. I have friends that might be considered to be more normie, but they perfectly understand me, and I understand them. That's the thing. There's an understanding of each other. Yeah, I mean, and the fact that we all find different things funny. They they like football. Some of them. Yeah, but I don't really group. care. I could talk to them about it for a bit, but my knowledge would quickly be exhausted, and that would be that. Right. But but yeah, there's still a point of 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 re we can relate to each other still. It's fine. You shouldn't limit yourself on friends just by what if yeah. their interested interests like, are the I, same as yours. I'm more likely Wimmer? to like go to the pub and everyone get really pissed up with them. I'm more likely to do that to get pissed with them. And, and at that point, whatever you're talking about doesn't matter because you're all too pissed to actually <laughs> talk about anything. So like, no, I, I would say like don't limit yourself. You don't, your, yeah, your, don't. who your friends are. And, and if you, if you want to have a sudden change, I don't know how old you are. Do something that changes it, like go to university. That can suddenly be like, I'm in a new place now. But it's, it's worth you, yeah. making an effort with the people that you know from when you were younger. I mean, yeah, I mean like, they just might, because they're different doesn't mean you can't get along. And you might change, you might rub off on yeah, them Yeah, you can, you can always know. find, like, nobody you meet is going to be your perfect ditto and everything you agree no, with. Absolutely them. not. So that would be boring. Yeah. Yeah, that would be boring. So just Like, have, Jamie was so close to being mine, but then he said... That he thinks Moonlight is about the Night 12 Travel, and I was like, <laughs> well, shit, it, after years of friendship, I finally <laughs> realised like, we disagree on some things. <laughs> on one thing. <laughs> and that's fucked it. It's also, oh, well, it's, it's also good to consider the fact that within this group, Randy, my, tell him off. <laughs> my, my interests are completely different to yours. Like, oh, I can't we... get involved in your conversations on music, movies, pretty much everything you like. I'm sure you're fine. Oh, we didn't talk about what we've been listening to. Quickly. Well, it's too late now. Well, no, do it right now. One album. Ramstein. Alex? Uh, Ramstein. Randy? Uh, whatever. What has uh, Alex been listening to? <sighs> System of the Down Syndrome. Uh, <laughs> let me have a look. I've been listening to Tool because all their music was released on Spotify and I've always wanted to listen to it. Um, so I listened to two Tool albums and I was really enjoying them. Let's say Hold My Liquor by Kanye. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, back to what our question was. You don't limit yourself. And if you really want to have a change, I mean, don't fall out of touch with these people. I'd be like if I went to university yes. and just stopped having anything to do with anyone I knew from back home. Yeah, yeah. The funny thing is, I don't even, I have a, you know, I've only got one group of friends at university, really. One, and then like two groups of friends at home. That's it. That, that's it. But also, like, to talk about other stuff, I don't do this, but go online. Yeah. Like, obviously, go be to careful. Yeah. Reddit. There's a like limit you already have. To, to how much you should base all your friendships yeah, on online yeah. things because yeah. some of them aren't going to be that real or tangible. Um, yeah. Yeah. Or just, within reach, even. You know, I, so. I mean, just depending on where they live as well, if they are into things we like, lots of places have, like, clubs and meetings and shit. Like, yeah. You find something. I just think, just don't... Also depends how old they are. Be open to doing new things and, like, take an interest in someone else's interest because yeah. I, I don't like golf. I will go golfing with my friends because I'll have fun, even though I fucking hate it and I can't do it. You just got to put, put yourself <laughs> out there. What, what you need to remember is that everybody sits on the toilet and does a fat, stinky shite. <laughs> and you can always start a conversation. <laughs> Moving on to the next like question. <laughs> um, <laughs> just don't limit yourself, dude. <laughs> yeah, be good. I'm, I'm also looking at the questions. Which one? Were you, who are you? We now? got um, underscore blue underscore gene underscore. Okay. My daughter, M Mina. Uh, minor, minor, Mi minor, minor, yeah, minor, minor, yeah, minor. is a big fan, and she has been improving her dental hygiene lately, and told me you inspired her to do so. Thank you so much. I'd be grateful if the Jarcast would also tell her to pick up her damn trash. 
But it could be a. F- what is the teeth thing about? Have I missed something? Alex talked about how he flosses his teeth every day or something. When? When did you talk? We about literally that? talked about it two episodes ago. We were talking about our I teeth. Was, I was the episode here, you were in. I was in. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not by any means asking you to take responsibility for my daughter's actions. I hope I don't end up on r slash entitled parents. Well, oh, smiley face. What I will say is, what does he mean by trash? Does she throw litter on the floor outside? Because if she does, that's a completely different story. Or does she just not pick Littering up after herself? Littering is bad. Um, just got like a dirty room. Just clean it up. Yeah. We all have dirty it's not that fucking point. easy, I'm afraid. And, and recycle where possible. Yeah, always recycle. I recycled some dominoes into my fucking... Do you know about dominoes boxes? What? Uh, supposedly they won't... When you put it in like your recycling bin, it probably won't actually be recycled because it's got like grease in it, so they just don't bother with it. So it just <laughs> goes into the landfill anyway. Oh. Yeah. yeah I but mean, also, at least it's cardboard, so it's easier to... But all the same, that's lame. Like, also, if they meet their recycling quota, they just put the rest in... The landfill anyway. Landfill anyway. Basically. Yeah. So, can't believe that's fucked. legal oh, dog. fun fact though. About this can, it says uh, pant, one crown. And it's the and it says it twice, but I think one of them's the Norwegian one. Uh, you get paid to recycle in those countries in the Scandinavian joints. What like two p? L- like point one of a. Hang on, one crown. Is like, that here, yeah, one crown is like ten pence. Let me just say this. I'm a hundred percent confident the world's gonna fucking end, and I'm gonna kill myself before that happens. Shut fucking the fuck Christ. up. Well, Typical no, I'm Brit just really it. banking nah, on some really this, smart scientists. We're going to be fucking out. fine. Guarantee yeah, it. I guarantee you, in our lifetime, fine. we are going to be more than fine. We're going to be fucking... We're going to be even better than we are right now, probably. We're going to yeah, just be absolutely. machines. In 30 years, I'm probably going to look like I did at 30 because of some new bullshit that makes me look... Nah, no, we're just going to be nah. one with our fucking phones. That'll be nah. it. Yeah. Oh, I just fly that. around the fucking realm. New iPhone being announced, apparently. Is Randy's brother looking forward to the new iPhone It's a fucking Apple show, so I don't want that. All right. Question from 48 inches. Oh, well, Blue Jean, that's... Uh, wait, you didn't finish it because... There's, there's no, that's a secret one. Ow. Oh, Jesus. okay. Yeah. Basically... But Blue Jean... Yeah. Yeah, you're, we'll improve. Everyone brush your teeth more. Yeah. Well, no, not, not too much. Fucking... Healthy amount. Don't leave, like... Don't leave shit on the floor. Well, Put you can leave toilet. shit on the floor because that's biodegradable. Ah. Uh, yeah, I shit on the floor the other day. Fuck off! Why are you here? Just Go fuck away. off! Uh, Twat. Which, question, okay. are you, which question are you doing? <laughs> 48 inches. Have you ever attempted to suck yourself off? If so, <laughs> did you succeed? No. I've yes never tried. and no. Yes and no. Yes and no. You've actually there tried to suck I'll your try. cock. Everyone has tried it right now. No. Have you, have you really tried to suck your dick? It's the main reason Everyone I'm doing yoga is so I'm more flexible. I haven't. <laughs> you can't reach it. Everyone's I, tried to reach. Because I know that. I'm not stupid. I know I can't reach Everyone it. Everyone so tries though, just to know. I didn't try. Wow. I've never Look, I knew in my head this He's so much holier than thou. Oh, Fuck yeah. you. Well, I want to do this question. Uh, it, actually, do you think someone can It's one we've answered before, like favourite bands and shit. My favourite band But yeah, is... I've a groovy AF. I do listen to the Queens of the Stone Age. No, they're shit. They're, they're I good. was just reading that one, actually. There you go. Um, Favourite rock band? Uh, Mass soundtrack. Probably the, the Beatles Mass version of it. Or favourite rock band game? Um, rock band for the Xbox 360. That's the best one. Yeah, put it there. Bam. No, it's for the PS Vita, idiots. Excuse me? You heard, finally. Uh, uh, I'll find a fat, juicy one. I'm trying. Find a juicy one that will keep Wait, us going. Wait, am at the bottom? Not as many questions are coming, because this thread's only existed for a few days. <laughs> that's, that's the unfortunate part. Well, Jim shouldn't be asking us about fucking... Guitar hero. If you suddenly became really good at an instrument, which instrument would you pick and why? Oh, saxophone. I'd become an amazing like Trumpet. saxophone drummer. I'd become an amazing drummer, and and I'd just be in a jazz band, and I'd be the best drummer in the world, and I'd just be a fucking millionaire from it. That'd be awesome. Trumpet. Saxophone. I would pick the flute, the pan flute. That's nice. about the triangle. Choose something difficult for a change. Fuck off! Why are you here? Go away! Um, Idiot. Uh, wait, I, I found one that's fucking just... Oh, hang on. That was from San Roshi. All right, Grey Tickles has another question for okay. us. Um, Seeing as though this is the last jar cast before A-level plus GCSE results day, do you have any advice for those of us getting our results? Uh, uh, cry if you get bad results. <laughs> no, because like it's done. Like, yeah, you're allowed to cry. Done. What's done is done. 
The the work is already done. Yeah, exactly. That's what it just said. Sorry, bro. And I'm buying a gun. Sorry. Best album there, Jack White. Rock, he's a great artist, Jack White. Yeah, no. he's the best rock band. Can barely even paint. What? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Who's on that one, man? What Mandy? does that mean? No, like. He's the most stereotypical American jar member. That's from Cat Spider 2. You were still answering Jamie. a question there, were you? What was the question that you just did? The, the one about results day. Oh, yeah. Let Jamie Wait. do that one. Sorry, everyone. I interrupted. We'll do that one in, in a minute. Why do I have to do it? Because you were, you were saying it. something. You were in the middle of saying something. So what's done is done. Yeah, but then you read that out. Yeah. Well, I mean, what's done is done. I mean, I, like, I, if, if, yeah. if, it all, if it all goes to shit, like, it's not the end of the it's world. It's not the end of the world. If you can, you can just if do you, it again. If, yeah, just do it again. If you want to redo some stuff, redo it. Yeah. Do it better. Be honest with yourself about the amount of work you put yeah, in. Yeah, could I do better? Do I want to do better? You're trying to think about what in that time could, and what you want to do. I mean, and if you want to go to university, don't be deterred because everyone says it's pointless. If you want to go, fuck, just go fucking do it. Fuck it. None of it means anything anyway. You're going to snort cocaine, so whatever. Yeah, you're, gonna, you're probably going to have three like, quite good years, probably. Probably be quite fun. And yeah, that'll be that. Don't take any of it for granted, though. That's what. Don't take any of it for granted. Because it will fly by, and suddenly you're entering your third year. And then you're like, oh shit, I've got to get a job. And while I am glad I'm entering my third and year, then a house and a I car. do look back on, on the past a bit like, damn. Regret Although, what you do, not what you don't do. you got to live like one of them smack dogs. you got to live like a dog. Yeah. Live life like a dog. James is the most insightful thing he's ever said. What was the actual me? quote? He was like, I don't plan, live like a dog. Or yeah, don't plan, live yeah, like a dog. Yeah, don't plan, live like a dog. Woof, woof. <laughs> so this is from <laughs> what? Why the fuck are you here? So Cat why Spider are you here? Cat Sorry. Spider Two. Fuck off. Who is the most stereotypical American jar member? Jamie. None of us. Yeah, I don't think any. I think we're all quite based in our English. Yeah, heritage. I think we're all quite English. Yeah. Who likes burgers the most? Alex. Uh, well, I do here, so thoroughly like... enjoy a burger, but who does enjoy burgers the most? Alex. Alex. Maybe me. The I answer get, is Alex. I do get No, it's not. He doesn't even eat fucking beef. Chicken burgers, they count. So that's the one thing that, okay, just go against loads of Americans then who don't eat beef. Stereotypical American, you goddamn fool. Uh, what the? That's it. Can no. we kill him? Oh, oh, I can read when you take my glasses off. <laughs> Are these Jarkar subjects? Yeah. Why is Age of Ultron on there? Oh. One day you'll find out. <laughs> um. No, you're not looking up. What is the most Gears of War quote you can remember? That's from Great Overlord. The most now Gears I'm of pissed. Now I'm pissed. pissed. That's, that, is... that is the quote that made me realise, wow, Gears of War isn't it's very this. good. Now they begin to understand. Yeah, yeah surely it's the, the What about I'm going to shoot them in, my a in the in the They asses. can run! I'm just gonna shoot them in the asses. <laughs> and then there's obviously, Ooh. it's a giant worm, yeah. which is the best line. That one stuck War. to me. Gears War One is shite. It is shit. No, it isn't. Gears War Three is shite. No. But, uh, Gears War Two. Good. I like that game. <laughs> Still shite though. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes it so fucking good. <laughs> that game isn't isn't online co-op, is it? That entire game is an online co-op, is it? Mm -hmm. There's only like what? a co-op campaign. That's all there is. What? Gears War Two. It's not co-op. This is. Whole campaign's caught. Yeah, I swear we played yeah. online. Yeah, the whole campaign's caught, but there's only two of you. It was Gears of War three that made it so four of you could play. No, 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 no. Well, Gears Judgment. Sure. Uh, uh, yeah, Gears. They all they've all been co-op campaign. Nah. Gears of War two. I'm telling you, nah. I was playing it not even that long ago. Why would Gears of War two not have co-op and Gears nah. of War? I'm just remembering because Alex <laughs> fucking lied to me. Is it Alex? who's not here. Lied to me when I was growing up saying that there's a, you can't play Gears two online co-op unless you buy the DLC. So then he played the DLC with me specifically, and not the campaign. It's because the DLC had like a deleted chapter, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 He, he only played that that mm -hmm. that cult with me. Refused to play it with me otherwise. I wonder what Alex is doing, Randy. Tell me. Well, I don't know. Probably embracing uh, liberty. What? Yep. In where? That that proves that Alex is the most American. That's what I was Lipsy. trying to tell you, but you no one wants to listen to Jim, old Randy. Jim just you? doesn't listen. He doesn't eat beef. But he, what he's if he actually he, does? And he just oh my god, him. quickly. Nah, this can wait for after. Embrace the establishment. Yeah. 
Just just pick your like personality. You can't just flip flop, you yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, what's your opinion on sport and football? Football and sport in general. Forty eight inches, everyone. Quick. Cringe. Does, I like football. Unless Benfica. it's Smash Bros. Woo! ornaments. Thank you for watching this episode of the Jarcast. Bro, I my favorite is um Nope. <laughs> <laughs>